Good afternoon traders. This video is all about a new rule that I'm adding to my plan to keep my losses as small as possible. If you watched my trading video from earlier this morning, you see that I took three trades, which is well within my plan and my strategy. It's just unfortunate that uh, even though there were good setups and they had high probabilities of, of working out, in fact, one of them nearly hit my profit target. It was just shy by a couple of cents, but that's gonna happen sometimes. So you have to have things in your plan to help keep you from uh, taking big losses even when good setups don't work out. So what happened was uh, all three trades failed and that led to about a 2% loss in my account in one day. And for most traders, that's probably okay because the golden standard is a 2% loss. But you have to consider that most retail traders, I'm not talking about YouTube traders, most retail traders are trading on margin and they can make uh, a lot more money each day than I can. I can only trade up to half of my uh, account and I don't even do that. If I have one two hour trade, I stop trading and that's only 10% of my account. So there's no way that I could, could sustain losses like this time and time again. If I get another one of these tomorrow where three trades fail, which could happen, uh, then I'm gonna be red on the month, you know, and that's just after two red days. So that shouldn't be the case. Um, I was up over 4% before today, uh, this was where this was what my week was. This week here, I was up 8:46 for the week, and then after today, which was just one trade day, three trades, I'm down two dollars and eighteen cents. So I can't just you know throw my hands up in the air and say, well, that's just going to happen sometimes. You know, there's nothing I can do about it. There is something I can do about it, and that is to come up with a a better rule to uh, have in my plan than this three strikes you're out rule. That's a good rule, again, to have if you're trading margin. But I think for a cash account, it's not um, strict enough. It's not protective enough, basically, is what it is. It's not really a discipline thing. It just doesn't protect you enough from uh, losses. So I did have a, a day earlier this month where I had three losses and it only amounted to 1%. But um, this was more actually of an ideal uh, day as far as setups and the risk of the trades was almost equal on all three trades so that's pretty much textbook to our trading if two trades fail and one trade uh, succeeds then you're back to break even and that's the idea behind two our trading but what happened was all three trades failed so what I'm doing is the uh, the new rule so this is the old rule maximum of three trades each day that's obviously not good enough so the new rule is maximum a number of trades per day is two and this this is why if you're in two trades at the same time and they both fail you'll likely be, be at your desired max loss which is about one percent for me a third losing trade will bring you close to two percent which is a too big too big of a hit to sustain multiple times so that's exactly what happened today and uh you know if this happens again like i said it'll put me in the red for the month and i'm not willing to accept that because it's very difficult to uh, trade a small cash account like this and to keep things green and uh you don't want to give it back, you know, just by, you know, continuously trying to uh, get entries. So so the new plan now is if uh, two trades fail, then I'm done for the day because that should keep me right around that 1% um, loss uh, mark, which which is sustainable. If I go into the next day and uh, and have a win, I should be able to uh, recover from that pretty easily. So that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions and uh, let me know what you think of this new rule. I'll see you in the next video. Tomorrow morning should be a live trade recap. Take care.